Welcome to another video in the Simplicity Studio series from Silicon Labs. I'm Martin Looker. In the previous videos, I showed you how to create the Bluetooth Blinky example application and use the Bluetooth GAT configurator to update the manufacturer name and add a battery level service. In this video, I'll be using the time saving software components feature to add drivers and configure pins for a second button on the ProKit board that I'm using. To allow me to simulate changes to the battery level, I'm going to use button 1 to cycle through a range of different levels. I could configure the pin and write my own driver. However, Simplicity Studio will automate much of this for me. The .slcp file is another file that is opened automatically at project creation and is used to configure the project settings. The Software Components tab has many hardware drivers that can be brought into the application. These software components are not limited to hardware drivers. You will also find components related to radio protocols, machine learning, and real-time operating systems. Searching for simple button will reveal drivers for basic button monitoring. The component is already installed as an instance has been created for button zero, which came as part of the example application. You'll see an install button here if a component is not already installed. Some components, like this simple button one, can have more than one instance. For my new button, I need to add a new instance. Simplicity Studio has recommended an instance named button one, as it knows there is a spare button on the board I'm using. If you select inst, you can create new instances for buttons external to the board. Adding the software component has automatically added source files to the project, along with APIs for initializing and monitoring the button. But using software components does more than add source code. Going into the configuration for the instance, I can alter settings, including the pin assigned to the button. When I selected the button one instance name, Simplicity Studio automatically chose the correct pin on the board I'm using. For other external instances, you can select the pin here. If you can't find an appropriate driver in the form of a software component, you may choose to install the third party hardware drivers extension for Simplicity Studio, which is available from GitHub. This will add additional drivers and example applications for a growing range of boards from the likes of SparkFun, Adafruit, and Micro E. If you need to create your own driver, the pins to be used can be configured in the pin tool. Here we can see the already allocated pins, including the pin that was automatically assigned by creating the new button instance. I'll need to add code to the application to monitor the button, alter the Bluetooth characteristic value and notify subscribed devices. But adding a software component has removed the need to configure pins and write drivers thus accelerating my development time. Keep a look out for the next video in this series where I'll show you how to output the project so it can be used to build, flash and debug the application in the popular Visual Studio Code IDE. If you subscribe to the Silicon Labs YouTube channel, you can receive notifications for new videos. You'll also find links to the other videos in this series and further information in the video description. Thanks for watching.